Hey, so today I'm going to be taking a look at a game called Human Fall Flat. This game doesn't come out until July 22nd on Steam, and it's described as a quirky open-ended physics-based puzzle and exploration game set in floating dreamscapes. So before we start, I just wanted to show you this cool little feature. If you go down to customize, you can actually paint on your little character. So if I wanted to, I can like draw a little like face. Um, so if I make a little small brush size and then paint a little face that is a horrible face but uh yeah you can also uh paint on um like the hat or individual pieces of the character so it's kind of cool so i can paint the hat blue let's make sure black back faces are turned on and then if i click apply i can save and then exit and now my little character has a blue hat on it's kind of cool um so another cool thing is you can plug in a webcam and you can take a picture like maybe of your face and put your face on your character. I thought that was pretty awesome. I did that earlier, but uh, it looked pretty crazy and <laughs> I didn't feel like sharing that. So uh, let's go ahead and just uh, reset this and save and let's just start with a default white character and here we go. So before I start, I will say that this game is certainly better played with a controller, so keep that in mind. Um, but you're kind of walking around as like a little uh, Play-Doh type guy, or like a jelly. He has like, uh, his movements are kind of strange, but you don't really have to worry too much because he doesn't fall over. You would think he could fall over pretty easily, but he actually moves very well um, considering, uh, considering how, uh, how fluidly he... Uh, moves around. Okay, so this is an instructional video. Let's see what this says. You've just grabbed an instructional video. Hold it tight. Great. Whenever you're lost or otherwise in despair, look around for such remotes. Once activated, they'll provide instructions ranging from not very helpful to totally useless. If there is no remote around you, you may return to initial despair. Or you may start looking for ways to solve the puzzle instead. Alright, so I think I understand the controls. I've actually gotten a f or quite a bit through this game. I think I've gotten like halfway through the game already, so uh... Humans. They will run into every door they encounter. Should be a fun little second run through experience. You can also press X to just fall on the ground. I'm not really sure why you'd want to just fall on the ground, but uh... uh that's kind of silly. Ah. <laughs> well, I guess you can use it to grab the ground. Um, one really cool thing, like, it's hard to show you guys how well this uh, character controls, but I can actually move my hand wherever I like. I can aim down and aim at the ground, or I can just, like, aim it anywhere, like, even upwards. And I can also aim both hands at the same time, which is pretty cool. And one thing you can do, you can actually pull yourself up onto, like, ledges like this. Hopefully I got it. Uh, nope. Hold on, I have to get two hands on the top. Why isn't the second hand going up there? Maybe that'll work. And then I can get to higher places. So that's kind of cool. And I can also, I could probably just skip this entire part if I wanted to. Um, should we try it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, skip the door. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, that's pretty funny. Okay. Don't need instructions. Okay, so let's press this button. Oops. There we go. And that they button. They will reach high and bend low to achieve their goals. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking. If you keep pressing A to jump, he just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> kind of just does a pelvic thrust in whatever direction you, uh, you look in. Um, but let's go ahead and continue. There we go and grab opportunities with both of their hands yet they can't fly and never will Whoa. Bam. another really cool thing about this game is that if you walk off the edge instead of like restarting the level a level just spawns below you and you just fall down uh, I don't know it, it's pretty cool anyways I'm pretty sure I could also skip this entire level by climbing on maybe that wall or climbing on the train. Um, let's try the climbing up the train. I tried doing this once before, but 
it didn't work out too well, but I kind of slipped. Let's get up here, and then grab onto here. Oh wow, I actually did it. <laughs> so, oh wow. This is actually the end of the level right here. If I uh, can pull myself up. Oh crap, I can't pull myself up, there we go. So I could actually just complete the level here, but let's go ahead and just start the way you're supposed to complete it. Um, I just think it's really cool that there's multiple ways to actually finish a level. And this is a physics game, so a lot of objects can be picked up and thrown around. Um, I can just throw that garbage can off the uh, off the map, and I believe it's gonna spawn. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! I got past it. When I first saw this game, I thought it was gonna be one of those games that are like super difficult because the uh, the controls are just ridiculously like retarded and your character just like wobbles around all over the place but this game actually flows very well and it's very easy to uh, um, to play whoa there we go should be enough right almost there we go there's another way I can complete this level I think if I actually climb up here and then climb on this wall here let me uh, put my hands in the air I think I can just climb on this little ceiling pillars and then just climb over to the exit over there. So just so many different ways you can complete a stage, which is it's just awesome. So I don't think this is the right way to do this, but I believe you can just jump off here and then, yep, I just grabbed the wall and went to the side. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, um, here I'll show you if I can get back there, maybe, oh! Come on, reach, reach. Wait, uh, hold on. Let's uh, move the camera. I think I got it. Okay. Okay. So what I think you're supposed to do, I think you're supposed to grab this pillar here, or maybe maybe the wall, and then you're supposed to you're supposed to uh, ha use your feet to maybe. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to do it on the pillar. There's a way to move it, or I thought there was a way to move it. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm moving the uh, the little train cargo thing with just my feet. It's just a cool little thing. It took me a while to figure out that mechanic the first time I played. Okay, so we're almost to the end. I believe the next level, I'm just going to try completing the stage in whatever ridiculous way I want to, instead of uh, doing it the right way. Uh, just because I think it's more fun to just play by your own rules. Actually, I need to actually go up there. I forgot. Um, so I need to go over here, and jump on this, and then use the pillar. It's funny watching your character too, like, <laughs> I don't know, it just, it just wobbles around, and I don't know. I just think he looks adorable. Especially his little leg kicking around. Okay. And then this should be the end of the stage. There's actually a lot of stages in this game. I was kind of surprised. I thought it was going to be like a short little game, but uh, it's actually pretty nice. There's a lot of replayability too, since there's multiple ways to uh, complete each stage. Let's go ahead and open the door. Here we go! Wee. <laughs> okay, so this is just a little pressure plate. I mean, this game, to me, anyways, is surprisingly fun. It feels really rewarding, too, because most of the puzzles in the game are not very challenging. I mean, later on, there's some more challenging puzzles that make you think a little bit, uh, but since there's so many different ways to complete most puzzles, um, it's just fun, in my opinion. And later on, we'll get to a point where I'll show you some puzzles that I didn't really know how to complete, and I just, like, made my own solution. 
Um, right or wrong, I don't think it really matters. Oops. Wait, do I have to hold this? I guess so. Okay, we need to get this box up there on that plate. So let's go ahead and use the elevator. Oops. I guess I just have to press that once. Might as well press it again, because we're going to need it, most likely. And hopefully I don't fail this, but I need to get this container on that red box over there. There we go. Wait a minute. I think if I hold the wall, I can just move it. There we go. Okay, that should be enough room for me to just jump across. There we go. Hooray! Level completed. Whee! I feel like this level is probably the most boring uh, level I've played so far. Um, just because it's mostly just jumping across these little platforms. Um, but later on there are some really cool stages. There's this one stage where uh, you're in like this medieval kingdom and there's a catapult and you can <laughs> You can actually arm the catapult with rocks or move the catapult wherever you want and then launch yourself across the map. It's pretty awesome. Hopefully I can get to that point. Shouldn't take too long. Alright. There's actually a really cool way to uh, get across this next part coming up. Oops. So these like little high platforms, you have to uh, raise your arms in the air first before you go onto them, and then you have to jump in order to get a little bit more height. I feel like this would be a really fun co-op game, like if it had co-op. Um, if the people who made this game, if they ever watched this, like for your next game, making some sort of co-op experience would be really cool. Because then you can have like partners and then do all sorts of different types of puzzles with uh, two people. So on this part, I can either go down there and then jump across those platforms, or I can go up here. And I didn't find this out until my friend played it, um, and he decided to come up here because he saw those little bars over there. I guess it's like a jail cell. I don't really know what's over there, but uh, I don't think you can get in there. I'll just go over there and look. There's like a strange, just, like, what is this? What is in there? Looks like there's something in there. I'm just like, I want to get in there. I can't pull those pillars out. But then there's a rope here tied onto a tree, and we can actually swing across <laughs> the level and get to the other side. It's absolutely ridiculous, but yeah. <laughs> we I'm not gonna jump quite yet. I'm gonna get a little bit more momentum just so I don't fall. Oops, hit the wall. That should be enough, maybe. Yep. We <laughs> I wonder if you did that long enough, you might be able to just skip this entire part um, and get to the top, but uh, we'll have to try that another time. Here's a little seesaw. I wonder if I can climb up here. I don't think so. Nah. Okay. I just need to push this across and then it's going to fall. I wonder if I can get to that ledge. No. Alright. 
And now I have to go back down and go to the other side and then jump across. It's kind of funny because most of the time I really don't like 3D platformers. I mean, like a lot of games do it completely wrong, but this game is actually really fun. And I think I failed this jump. I'm trying so hard to reach up there, but it's not letting me. Oh, come on. I wonder if I can like let go and then reach up, maybe? It's not letting me, like, turn my body, so I can't, I can't really pull myself up here. Like, I'm trying all I can, but my legs are just not getting up there. Oh, I did it! Wow. That was awesome. I was lucky, too. Okay. Having a tough time getting up these stairs. <laughs> Oh wow, this video is already pretty long. I might have to make a part two, just because I enjoy playing this so much. And we didn't get as far as I thought we would. Well, there is the exit. A little nice little house here. From the instructional video, <laughs> I just love just throwing these cushions off. And you can also you can also just pick up the whole couch and just lift it in the air and do whatever you want with it. Knock over the TV. I love how just like everything in this game is movable, or at least almost everything. I mean, you can't move like giant objects, but anything like your size. Alright, going on to the next level. Here we go. Whee! Ouch. <laughs> So this level is kind of cool. I mean, this entire video is kind of a spoiler for anyone who wants to play it, just because I know a, like a little bit more than most people. Uh, but there's two ways to do this. One, you can just pull off these planks here and open the door, or you can take one of these mattresses. And then let me get it in the center so I can have some balance. And you can just launch it through the glass. Hold on. That was a fail. Ah! Oh. I did this once before. I, I, I know it's possible. Hold on. Maybe I need to get to like this side. Oh, come on. You have to get a lot of momentum. There we go. There we go. And then you can just jump through the, the window. And you do the same thing here. You can take this canister and just throw it into the glass. Bam. So this level has a sort of like a construction theme. And you use the construction like equipment to uh, get past certain things. Okay, that should be fine. Let's just go ahead and go through. There's a wrecking ball. Oops, I didn't, <laughs> they didn't break through. Let's try it again. Guess we have to get some momentum going with the ball. That should work. Bam. Can I go any further to the right? Oh, I just activated something. I guess not. One thing I did on my first playthrough, I thought, like, what if you could climb this crane? And you actually can. And I don't know really the point of that building over there. Maybe you can climb the building and then jump off and get on top of there. I guess that's what it's for. Um, but I'm not going to do that. You can actually climb this crane if you can get your hands up at the right spot. There we go. And then you can get up here. Yeah! <laughs> 
And then I was wondering if you could climb this. If I could climb this, I could skip so much of this level, but I don't think it's possible. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any way to get all the way up there. I mean, I could try one more time. Like that's as far as I can reach. Yeah, that's definitely not enough. I wonder if I can grab onto this rope. Whoa! Oh, I can! Sweet! I wonder if I could, like... I wonder if I could, like, swing it and get enough momentum to, like, fly to a different area. Probably not, it's too slow. Oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this the right way. We need to get an item, bust it through the glass. Oops. This should be big enough, come on. There we go. I need to press this button. Sweet. I can lower this bridge by taking this out. There we go. And on we go. So this video is getting kind of long, so I'm probably going to have to cut it short. Um, we might try to complete this level first, although it's going to take me another five minutes. So I need to get this pillar, and then I need to lodge it in between this lever. Because if I don't do that, then uh, the door will shut on its own once I let go of the lever. That's just because I've already played this level. So there's a little skip here. If you can jump from here over to there, let's try it. Whoa! Oh, I didn't get enough height. I mean, I was able to move my hand up a little bit. Don't think I can make it. The first time I did this, I actually made this jump and I was able to get across. Let's go ahead and just fall. I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh no! I'm gonna aim for the corner this time. Oh! Almost! I swear, last time I did this, it, I was able to make it. But, whatever, we'll just do it the right way. Alright, so the right way is to get that crate, put it on the platform, and then bring it back across. Oh wait, I could use the crate. Oh. I could use the crate to give me some a little bit more height. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Okay. Here we go. And... Oh, I forgot to put my hands in the air. Oh, I made it. Yes. Yes. I did it. Sweet. Gotta think out of the box. Oops. Well, that was weird. Okay. Oh my god. Can I just walk under here? Oh, I can. No, come on. Come on, you can make it. Oh, come on. There we go. I need to get this box in here. Shoot. Oh wait, this is just a door. 
Oh, I hate that sound. That was an awful sound. Okay. I just need to do the same thing and walk under it. And bring this box. Oh, I forgot about this part. I have to cut this video a little short because it's going to take me a little while to figure out. I need to bring this over this way and stop and jump across. Wait, I wonder, can I just go on top of this pipe? Oh man, I'm so close. I did it! Oh no! 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 Please no! Oh no! Crap. That was a fail. I'm gonna try that again. I wonder if I just fall off here, if I'll, I'll respawn at my checkpoint? Yes I do, okay cool. I'm glad they added that, so you don't have to like restart the whole stage if you completely screw up somewhere. Okay, so now let's do this. Man, how did I get it the last time? I think I have to try to reposition my hands while I'm uh, going for that. Here we go. <clears throat> There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off! It's so easy to fall off on this thing, because it's round. Okay, I made it. If I'm able to get on top of that rooftop, I can skip this next section, which will save me a lot of time. Which I think I can. Yes! Sweet. Now all I have to do is uh, get up there. Should be able to just pull myself across. Sweet! That was an awesome little skip. Okay, so now I need to pull this out, and then a little uh, swinging thing comes down, and let's see. I think I need this. I think I need to actually drop it onto this glass down there. Yes! Okay, so let's see. Okay, we're going to drop down, we need to pull this lever, <laughs> I just pulled it off. Then I think if I just put my hands up in the air, I could grab this and then just swing across, sweet. Alright, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> we did it. Sweet. So I think I'm going to end this part of uh, this little let's play here. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And again, this game comes out on July 22nd. So I'm going to put a link to the store page in the description below. This is the uh, medieval themed level that I was talking about earlier. Um, I'm going to make another uh, part to or like a part two to this so be sure to stay tuned for part two if you want to see um, some pretty cool things on this level um, there's a catapult over there that I'll be using which will be pretty awesome um, but yeah thanks for watching uh, like I said I put a link in the description below check it out put it on your wish list uh, when it comes out on July 22nd check it out it's a, a really fun game and I'm sure it'll be pretty popular once it's released so uh, yeah have a nice day